Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Fortune 499, a game by A.P. Thompson, with art by Jenny Zhao Hissia? I don't know. HS, that's the new one. Not not familiar with that combination of letters. Uh, okay, so it's version 0.101, which not a great sign, but I'm guessing by the name Fortune 499 that this is the game of you starting out in business and trying to, like, crack the Fortune 500. Um, it's possible. Here we go. It's not that, is it? You really want to learn the basics of fortune telling? Usually folks don't take an interest. Yeah. Show us. Show us. Your work is so mysterious. Nobody really knows what you do all day. That's like, that's, no one knows what I do all day. I'd love to see it firsthand. Actually, I mostly just want to avoid the giant inbox waiting for me back in my office. Ha! All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Here, here as an example, let's play a simple one. Oh, Christ. Okay. Here, Laura, you'll play Tom at Rock, Paper, Scissors. To play, you both secretly choose one of rock. Cassie. We know how to play rock, paper, scissors. Okay, okay. In terms of the UI, you choose your weapon from one of the three highlighted buttons. I have a rule in rock, paper, scissors, and it's from The Simpsons, and it's literally always play rock. So I lost. Ah, take that. So much for fortune telling. Shh, Tom, we haven't even done any fortune telling yet. Now this time, Laura, you'll predict which weapon Tom will use. To do so, click on the fortune telling tech to draw a card. Uh, yep, you can buy them. Right, okay. Okay, so that's a scissors card. Okay, ah, that's the four of scissors. That tells us that Tom is more likely to use scissors during the next round. I'm more likely to do what now? Then listen to us, Tom. If you listen, it makes the prediction meaningless. Yeah, plug your ears, Tom. Anyway, since it's likely that Tom will choose scissors, you should choose rock. Okay, that's that lines up with my strategy of always pick rock. <gasps> And he picked scissors, amazingly. Wow, that totally worked. I only had to draw one card. What happens if I draw a bunch of cards? Well, a skilled oracle can usually draw up to four cards for a single prediction. But doing so isn't always the best idea. If the cards you draw don't agree with each other, you could end up introducing uncertainty to a previously solid prediction. All right, let's try four at once. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, see, this is just what I was talking about. Since you're, you drew the two of rock, the two of paper, and the two of scissors, your first three, three cards effectively cancel out your prediction. But the last card, the three of paper, retip the scales in favour of paper. Hmm, not sure I quite get it yet. You're saying Tom, saying Tom will choose paper? Not quite. Tom is most likely to choose paper. There's a big difference. Well, then I guess it's scissors for me. I want to pick rock, though. I should have picked rock. Yeah, I was right. My strategy of picking rock would... This is what I love about this. There's a known fact that there's a thousand... Like, that there's actual st statistical ways of playing rock, paper, scissors to win. But it, it gives you, like, a 1% edge. <laughs> Sometimes. Ah, oh, I thought you were just going to beat me again. Did I just out-predict an oracle? A draw? I thought you said Tom was most likely to pick paper. I said most likely. Doesn't mean 100% certainty. Even the most talented oracles can rarely know anything for certain. Well, that's no fun. So I can only use fortune telling to my advantage sometimes. But in something like rock, paper, scissors, having even a slight advantage over your opponent means you'll win the long run. It would if rock, paper, scissors wasn't the sort of thing that you play once. Maybe twice. Can't you just Rochambeau for it as well? I mean, I don't... Which in my head just means kick him in the balls. Hey, Cassie. Sounds like someone's calling for you. Huh. Sounds like we need to cut this lesson short then. Is this a game of rock, paper, scissors? There's, there's health, MP and budget up here. That's what's throwing me. Miss Cassie, the boss wants to see you in his office. Maybe he needs to win 60% of rock, paper, scissors tournament. Ha! Huh. Shut up, Tom. Okay, I'll be over there in a minute. 
Oh, oh good. Windows defender, defender just jumped in to tell me that... Wait, wait, what did it tell me? Oh. It hasn't found any threats. Why did it word it so weirdly? Right. Oh, shit, I skipped a line. Yeah, I remember those things. I've been here longer than you, you know. Um, is this... Can I use a... No, nope, can't use a gamepad. Is it WASD? It is. Okay. Right. Uh, let's uh, leave this department. Yeah. So I'll go again and see the boss. I'm thinking. AP Thompson presents. Welcome, Cassandra. Please come in. What's with the formalities, Derek? You can still call me Cassie. <gasps> Cassandra. The oracle that no one believes in Greek fairy myths. Greek Greek myths. Greek fairy tales. <laughs> right, yes. Well, as you know, the company has been growing a lot lately. A lot of new investors are coming on board after our initial public offering, IPO. Yes, I'm aware of that. You okay over there? What's this all about? Yes, well, as the head of the magical resources department, so I'm receiving... New press pressure from the higher-ups and the shareholders to uh, slim down the department. They want a renewed focus on elemental magic, with an emphasis on projects involving lightning spells. You know, lightning magic and computers. There's a lot going on there right now. Wizard stuff. Derek, forgive my language, but what the hell? Uh, what? You can try to hide it as much as you want, but it's pretty obvious what's happening here. Basically, your boss has told you to fire the most useless mages from the department. The first person you thought of was me, Derek. What the hell? Cassie, you should have seen this coming. I mean, seriously, you of all people know what I've done for this company. How many bad deals did we dodge? How many HR disasters did we present, prevent? The first one implies use of her fortune telling abilities. The second one implies that she hushed up about a rape. How many dream clients did we conveniently score? I don't know which category that one falls into. Now tell me, how much of that was possible without reading the goddamn future? Cassie, please, times have changed. The company has secured our future. Everyone here knows what to do now. Just show up, don't screw up, keep the shareholders happy, eventually retire. There's just no future in the future, you know? That's bullshit and you know it. It's not just... I think this is about a Fortune 500 company, isn't it? It's not just that. It's just almost impossible to explain to the higher-ups what you actually do. You make predictions and they give us a competitive edge, but to almost everyone, it looks like a coincidence. To them, it looks like you aren't doing anything, and then you joke about the backroom microwave being as reliable as a witch's magic. Then don't... They don't say that to my face. Look, Cassie, I don't want to fire you, but it's getting harder and harder to justify your paycheck. So you could work for free, or I can fire you. Here, how about this? You do one more prediction for me. Tell me whether fate thinks you should stay or not. You're, you're a coward. You're effectively asking me to fire myself because you don't have the guts. You're right. I am a coward. I'm not suited to this position. Couldn't have come this far without your help. I'm asking for it one more time. If you know that much, you shouldn't need a prediction. But fine, I'll give you one last prediction and pack up my stuff. <gasps> Shit, what was that? <gasps> Slimes, the devil monster boss. We're monsters. We heard there was a public offering here. <clears throat> <clears throat> monsters? There's nothing we monsters like more than an offering from humans. I gotta like say, I, I like his look. And what luck, we jumped straight to the magical resources department. But I can only sense one wizard here. The five of us can defeat one wizard easily. Uh, uh, actually, I'm a healing wizard. I can't cast, cast any offensive magic. No need to even fight, right? Ah, oh, jeez, isn't that good in my review? Um, hey, we're kind of in a meeting here. What's this? Did you want something from your new management, human? Uh, yeah, could you kindly just go away? I had enough nonsense to deal with today. Cassie! Don't provoke them, hit. Here, I bet we can play dead behind the desk. I'm pretty ticked off right now. I'll get rid of them. Oh, you mean to challenge us? Ha! Without a single hint of magical energy in you. 
That is some serious shade, isn't it? You're welcome to try. Cassie, what are you doing? Humans can't win a fight against monsters. At least, not without magic. Anyone can win a fight if... Anybody can win a fight if they know what their opponent's going to do. Like, you know, an oracle would. You can think of any physical fight as kind of being like rock, paper, scissors. Derek. Sorry. Rock, paper, scissors. Cassie, this isn't a game. Just watch. Okay. Also, when did the music start? Because this game didn't have music for a while and now it has. Okay, right. Let's draw the cards. Now, if I draw... See, that's saying scissors. But what if I draw four cards? It's still saying... So they're going to go scissors, right? So to beat scissors, obviously the thing you need is rock. Which I would have picked anyway. Boom. Win. win. Right. Restore mana when drawn. Okay. Hmm. This is really difficult. All signs are pointing that they're going to go rock. Which they might well do. But... I'm thinking they won't, so let's call cool, my bruff. Bluff. Gah, what are you doing? You're a monster. You're not supposed to lose a physical fight. That human's just lucky. Get in there, show her your real strength. Okay, right. I've run out of cards. I don't know what happens when I'm I'm guessing you run out, they just shuffle the deck. Okay, paper. Interesting. Paper again. See, this is looking bad for me because I'm going rock. More mana, that's good. Rock again. See, it's, she, they're probably going to pick paper, which means I should go scissors. But there is a slim chance of them picking rock. So therefore, I should go paper, because then I'll, I'll win no matter what. Yeah. Alright. Rock. Rock. Scissors. Scissors. The decision is split. If, if I go rock... They'll either go rock or scissors, meaning they've got a greater chance of winning. If I go scissors, they'll go... I sh if I go scissors and they go rock, they win. If I go scissors, they go scissors, they win. If I go paper, they go rock. They... Mm, I've got to go rock. Rock is the answer. As always. Have I gone rock every time? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, I'm done delegating. Time for me to show you blobs how it's done. Look, I'll give it to you, human. You obviously know Kung Fu or something. But all of that is going to be useless when I cast this spell to completely sap your strength. Behold my magic. Cassie, he just sapped all your physical strength. We've got to get out of here. Your attacks won't work on him anymore. There's no way to beat him without offensive magic. <sighs> I was avoiding doing this. Uh, doing what? Showing my cards. Was that a joke? A bad joke? This is no time for bad jokes. It's always time for bad jokes. I actually can use some simple offensive magic. Really? I thought you weren't a wizard. I'm not. My magic comes from fate. I have to draw mana from my deck to use magic. Since I can only draw four cards at once, I just need to predict and dodge his attacks until I have enough mana to strike back. Uh. But, okay. I built up the mana ahead of time. So $35 times minus 5 times 16 cards draw plus 10 times 0 karma for 0 reward. Okay, so you're not meant to draw cards in this game. Right. Ugh, we obviously underestimated this company a bit. But this is the magical resources department. The stronghold against monsters. Obviously, we're only a distraction. You'll need more than just one lucky witch to stop our hostile takeover. Hey, uh, we didn't fight, but I think we should probably also go. Hmm. You know what? I don't need to make a prediction. I think you should probably keep me on board. Y yes, I, I agree. Fortune 499. Is this like an opening cutscene? I think it is. That's her house. She has a bed and a cat. She's tired. A night passes. Alright, just check the old... Uh, what's up from Derek, Trouble in HR. Hey, Cassie. Whew, what a day yesterday, huh? Well, uh, 
It's not really over yet. Can I get some help from you down in HR? Thanks, Derek. Okay, uh, from Kiki. Cassie! Why are you always so busy? Come hang out tonight. I want to hear what excuse you have this time for not quitting a terrible job. Okay, okay. From Tom, subject, wizards out of office. Hey all, reminded that the wizards in the MR department are at a retreat this week. Burning man, maybe. I guess they need lots of fire magic there. Need any magical assistance while they're gone? Talk to Derek in MR about your options. <clears throat> Wait, is it HR or MR? Or is it both? From AML, subject, Anstein, Mon Anton Monster League News. Cassandra, we thank you for your contribution in the fight against monsters in the workplace. But our fight is not yet over. This year alone, monsters destroyed the livelihoods of hundreds of middle-class workers. Our organization was founded in opposition... In their mind. Right, let's just pop that off. So this is... Can I read other people's emails? No. Who's, who's this dweeb? Hey, David. What brings an accountant to magical resources? Well, besides the fact that I'm in charge of MR's budget, I like learning about magic when I'm procrastinating. But this place is pretty quiet. Where is everybody? All the wizards are on a retreat right now. Didn't you get the memo? I guess that explains what all these new expense reports are for. Oh yeah, speaking of expenses, Derek said to give you a budget for some new, new secret project of yours. Here you go. Hmm. Just gives me a hundred bucks. That's how accountants work. Ah, thanks. I can definitely find a use for that. I may not be a wizard, but I'm a bit of a magician when it comes to budgets. <laughs> I might be able to allocate more funds your way if you come to see me from time to time. Is he? Is this? Is this an HR issue? Is it? Is this that second thing she was talking about? All right, I need. I need to go to Magical Resources HR department anyway. Uh, David, uh, not David. What's his name? Colin. Derek. Derek wants a word. The money, my man. It seems the HR department has been taken over by monsters. They showed up with pickaxes and hard hats, prepared to mine all of the human resources. Uh, could you go clear them out? Uh, yep, yeah, sure. What's this do? Free HP costs fifty. Coffee? Yes, I am so down for coffee. <laughs> costs fifty. Fifty dollars. Wow. And water is. It's ridiculous. You have to pay for coffee and water in your own workplace. You know one of those human resources. How'd you get out of your cube? Nope. Here to banish all of you. Uh, what? You're from the MR department? I thought this company didn't have any wizards. Whatever. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Alright, let's go. Uh, right, so... Got no mana currently. You know what? Let's go in cardless. The cards are actually up here more than down there. So just my knowledge of my own skill will get me through. All right, chuck a card out there. Boom, see, he's going scissors. I knew this to be the case. Good old rock, never fails. So this time, I got $30, okay. One of those classic games where it gives you all these tools and tells you don't use them. You'd get more points if you don't enjoy them. The, the one that bugs me the most was Star Wars Rogue Squadron, where you got downgraded if you used your targeting computer, which makes no sense, because you ain't no Jedi. Alright, so... I think that's rock, paper, and scissors. So it's like a kind of healer one. Let's just go for the basic, basic bitch. Doesn't wait for people to leave the subway car before getting in. Right, okay. Alright, let's start Start off. See what we got. Oh, see, he's going to go paper. That puts a kink in my plan of going rock. But not all... He wouldn't always have gone paper, would he? Right. Let's take a risk on this one. It lied. The cards lied. Let's, in a panic, use rock and win the day. See, so far, statistically speaking, I've been at a disadvantage by using cards, haven't I? Every time I haven't, I've done better. That bookcase behind me sure seems to be important, huh? Glowing with mag magical energy, I bet. Mm. Well, it's possible someone left a spell book on it or something. Seems kind of irresponsible, though. You gained a new spell. Rock buff. 
2 MP, increases rock damage plus 1. You gain a new spell, P Shield, De decreases paper attack and s scissors attack by one opponent only. Okay, interesting. So scissors and paper, I don't know, let's just fight this, this big pair of scissors. More powerful scissors attacks, but I'm prepared. I, I have many spells at my disposal. I'm a true witch person. So we're we just going to assume he's going to go scissors. Seems a pretty safe bet. Should we just try it again? Okay. He's a predictor of... So this giant pair of scissors has a definite affinity, I could say. Alright, mate. I love that shredder behind me. Shreds basically anything. So I could probably shred some cards in there. Yeah, but those sound important. I've just been shredding resumes. They are important, but a smaller deck is a more predictable bet deck. So it might still be useful. It's a shredder. I could use this to shred one of my cards. Uh, yeah, fuck it, shred. So, ah, so really what you want to do is you want to get rid of all the low ones, don't you? Uh, so my forte, you know, I've always thought paper was the weak link in the in, in the rocks at paper scissors world. I should get rid of all the two, shouldn't I? But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to front load towards rock. There we go. Just burned up some of her grandfather's deck there. So the error I've made here is I've got a rock heavy deck and I've already fought the paper boss. Doesn't matter. More powerful with rock attacks. So boom, check that out. Look, he's already going rock. I know. Paper's safe. Now let's let's not draw a card and then see what happens. He's still gone rock. The only thing is, if you don't draw cards, you can't get any mana. Also, karma. Don't really know what that is. Alright, mate. See that filing cabinet behind me? Uh, yeah, they're all over the place. Well, that one will let you reorder your fortune deck. That's amazing, but how do you know that? Don't ask me, I'm only a kid. Uh, I'm pretty sure when you reorder a, a real fortune deck, real, uh, you know, you'll die. Filing cabinet? Looks like I can use this to move one of my cars to the front of my deck. Also lets me see the order of my deck. This is a powerful cabinet. Uh, yeah, I don't care about doing that. All right, let's, let's fight this big piece of paper. Let's just make assumptions. The bastard is unpredictable. He's wild. He's going to use rock. There are no weak cards in my deck. Only rock. The strongest of elements. So laughably predictable paper. My deck is undefeatable. That printer behind me acts up sometime. Uh, I'm sure you could find a use for it. Hmm, I could probably print more cards with that. Cards? Business cards? Sure. Behold. Print more decks, yes. Print a card. Uh, what I, oh, right. But I think this is my deck at the bottom here. Give me rock. Rock. All of the rock. God, I'll be so strong for rock. Yes, more ominous mana. Still, rock and mana. I'll be a living god. No one will be able to defeat the power of my deck. Mm. Good for you. Or bad for you, because now we have to fight. Not looking forward to this. Behold. Restores your HP when you win. Oh, that's good. But my deck is undefeatable. For it is all rock. I know what you're thinking. By having an entirely rock-based deck, it means my enemy will always pick rock, so I never get to use rock. Rock. I have made an error there. <laughs> you cannot win this fight. The cards are fully... Oh, shit, I've got a spell. Uh, you know what? Just shoot him. It's probably going to go rock, isn't it? Yeah. Just, does just the knowledge of what's in my deck mean I'm going to win this? I don't... It's, I think I'm really overthinking this game. I think they made a game that's like uh, kind of just a, a fun little story, uh, old school RPG. And they were like, let's put a really easy combat system in it that no one has to think about too much. That isn't very grindy. Uh, so that's, that's Fortune 499. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go two parts on this one. I think I, I want to see a little bit more of this. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.